And the scope of this tragedy, tragedy just seems to get bigger and bigger every day. And while no one claims that this is easy, the help isn't getting to people fast enough. South Florida obviously has its share of experts who know how to handle these situations. So we decided to turn to one of them for perspective. CBS 4's Hank Tester spoke to one South Floridian who also happens to be a former director of FEMA. He's live in Davie and Hank so interested in what he has to say. Well, David Paulson certainly knows all about hurricanes. He goes way back to Hurricane Andrew, longtime firefighter, fire chief here in South Florida. And he was quite candid in talking about the slow response. Didn't blame it on anybody, but says in part it's because of the sheer size of the island. A lot of people don't realize Puerto Rico is a big island, and there's devastation from one side of it to the other. Here's our conversation. So. David, what's working and what's not working down there? A lot of criticism, right? Yeah. A tremendous amount of criticism, but people have to understand, and I'm not defending anything, but people have to understand that, one, the ports were closed, the airport was closed, very difficult to get in there. It's a, it's a huge island. This is not a little island like in the Keys. This is a huge island, and the hurricane went from one end to the other and took out all of the infrastructure. Uh, I think what is working now is, one, the, uh, the military's moving in, uh, the, uh, the president moving in two to 3,000 uh, military people. That will help a lot with logistics. Nobody moves stuff better than U.S. military. They're the best in the world. So that's going to really help FEMA, that partnership with FEMA and the, and the United States military, the active troops, uh, getting on the ground, getting some logistics set up to start moving stuff around the island. Because right now it's kind of piling up at the, at the port. And, uh, and it has to be a system in place to get that distributed out through the, through the rest of the island. A little late getting going on this, a little overwhelmed? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you, you have to say the answer is a yes, because of what happened. We had Harvey, we had Irma, and, and, and now we have Maria, three major hurricanes in a row. Uh, it is stressing the system. But I think the, the biggest problem was what I said earlier. The, the ports were shut down. You couldn't get ships in there. Uh, the, uh, the airport was shut down. You couldn't land anything. So that was a little slow getting started. Okay. Now, people are saying, oh, well, ship a bunch of truck drivers down there. Ship a bunch of gasoline. Uh, it, it's not that easy, is it? It, it really is not. As, first of all, the infrastructure is down. We have bridges out. We have roads that are impassable. Uh, this, is a, this is a major undertaking. This is not something that's going to get better in a couple of days or a couple of weeks. It's going to take a long time to get the roads cleared, to get the supply chain going. Uh, so right now I'm assuming they're going to have to use helicopters to drop places and people off at the different areas that are inaccessible by road. So that'll be the first step. Any advice to the current FEMA director right now? Well, he's going to take a lot of heat. He's a great emergency manager. He really is. Uh, he did a great job in Alabama. He was emergency manager there when I was the, uh, the FEMA director. Uh, really knows his stuff, has a lot of support. And he's got good people around him. My advice is take a deep breath. Uh, you know, stay on top of it. Keep doing the press conferences. You're going to get beat up. Uh, but you have to get, keep, keep the press informed of exactly what you're doing. Well, David Paulison puts a lot of stock in the military, and those of you that went through Hurricane Andrew remember, uh, help was a little slow coming to South Florida. Remember, where's the cavalry? Well, when the 10th Mountain Brigade did arrive and they got set up in Homestead, boy, things really started popping, as you'll well remember. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.